of my magical friends, I'm Camamingo! Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can get the difficulty chart marker inside of Find the Markers. I'm also going to be giving some tips for certain parts of the obby, so that way it can be a little bit easier for you. But what you're going to do to get this marker is you're going to head over to the giant mountain over by the forest. And once you get here, go ahead and touch this wall back here to so that way you can teleport inside of this room. And on this keyboard, you're going to type the word difficulty. And if you type it correctly, it'll put you inside of this game, which is a difficulty chart obby. Now, the marker is at the very end of the obby, as you can see up there. So you have to get through this entire obby to get the marker. Now, there isn't any checkpoints until you get to that one right there. So try your best not to fall on, like, the easy, medium, and hard ones. But to be honest, these ones aren't that bad. The first couple ones are not that bad at all. And on the challenging one to do this one is just back jumps like this. And then for the next little bit on the challenging, it's literally just like around the corner jumps. How did I fail that? Oh my lord. That was actually so bad. Let me do that one more time. Here we are at this point. I do have shift lock enabled, so let's use shift lock for this part. But jump around these walls. And then this is a normal obby jump right here. And then you have the art obby. Now, this is pretty basic. You have the little slippery, um, little checker jumps. Let's go ahead and go past these. And then there we go. Now we're on to this step, which is the little uh, ladder on the wall. And they climb over to the left. This one's pretty easy. All you gotta do is just head forward and jump onto the ladder. And it'll hold you on top of it. And if you stop moving, you'll hook on. That's going to be super handy for later. So just go ahead and just head left all the way to the edge. And then once you get here, just go ahead and stop moving, jump back, and you'll land on this platform. Then for these type ropes, just go ahead and put your mouse in the middle of the screen so you don't fall off. Because it'll put your character directly in the middle. So you won't have an issue with falling. Now the difficult stage, and luckily there is a checkpoint for this part. This one is pretty difficult, as you can tell by the rarity. So what you're going to do is... Just like the last stage, go ahead and walk across these. But when you get to this part, what you're going to do is you're going to stop moving, turn your camera around, and then what you're going to do is you're going to press space bar, shift for shift lock, and then you want to start heading forward. So just like this, and you'll hook on the other side. Let's go ahead and move over. Let's stop moving, turn the camera around, and then you want to press space, shift, and then start walking forward. So... Space shift forward, you'll hook onto the ledge, move a little bit over to the side, let's do it one more time, and then one more time again. You can also, for this part, you just jump back normally and you'll barely land on the platform. But let's go past these three normal jumps, and now we're on to the insane stage. Now this one isn't too bad, you just have some wall corner jumps just like this. And then you have another type road, which you can do by just going in first person and keeping your mouse in the middle. Now, next is a maze. After this one, just go ahead and jump through and follow this path to take right here. I'm going to view top down so it's a little bit easier to see. And there you go. That is the very end. And be careful to not like accidentally touch the little white brick because that will send you back. But once you get back, go ahead and climb the ladder. And then want to make your way through this room to this back corner so that way you can get out of the box. And then walk your way over to the terrifying stage. Now this one is one of the more difficult parts of the obby. Now what you're going to do is you're going to sit at the very bottom of these slopes. And you're going to do a normal wall of jumps while staying as low as possible. So that way you don't hit these glowing bits on top. But there you go, we got to this stage. That way we're going to do on this one is I'm going to go and shift against the wall just like this. And then I'm going to do another wall jump around this one to land on top of this truss. Now, when you get to this one, go ahead and line your character up with this brick. And then once you're lined up, just jump once and you'll land directly on it. Don't, like, move backwards or forward when you do that. But from this point, just go ahead and do the other two jumps over to this one. And then for this area, what you're going to do is you're going to do the little wall corner jumps, but backwards like this. That way, when you jump, your arms don't hit the wall so you don't get reset back to the start right there. But just go ahead and do that three times over to this platform. And then this is another little trust jump. So just go ahead 
and jump right here, and then do the exact same thing we did for the terrifying stage. And you wanna jump shift forward just like that, and then you wanna do that one more time over here to this spot. Now what you're gonna do here is you're gonna go ahead and get to like about this height, and then jump and head backwards so that we can land on this ledge. Then you want to jump here, then here, and then you want to climb up this entire slope. Just keep your mouse on the middle while jumping, and you shouldn't fall. But now we're on the final stage of Markerus. Now to do this one, this one is quite difficult. I'm going to go ahead and go on this side of it. But from the start, go ahead and walk right here and jump over to this platform. And then for this one, go ahead and go in first person and line your mouse up on the bar if you want to walk across it. Or you can just go from this bar and jump right over to it. You don't have to walk on that, so don't, don't bother walking on that. Then right here, go ahead and just walk forward. Don't jump to land on this platform. Then you want to jump right here and like try to stay as low as possible. And you want to jump around the corner and you want to land on that tiny brick. I barely missed it there. So let's go ahead and try that. One more time, and we should hopefully land on it. Oh no, I touched the top. I went too, I went too high. Yeah? Let's go ahead and try here. And there we go. We landed on the platform. And probably for the hardest jump in the obby, you have to land on these tiny little pebbles floating in the air. And you want to be super careful for this part. So what you're going to do is just like all the other jumps, go ahead and land right on top of here. And then you, when you're on this corner, try to go very slowly, like turn your camera so that way you can land on the little square bit. And if you do it right, you'll either land on the square or you can keep going around the corner. And then just go ahead and do that one more time to land on this ledge. And here's a quick little tip to jump over this. Turn your camera like this with shift lock and then jump over so you don't accidentally grab the ladder because I accidentally fell one time hooking on that ladder. But once you do that, just jump over the last jump, and then you should have the difficulty chart obby. Now, oh my gosh, this obby took me so long to do the first time. But with all of those tips, hopefully I made it a little bit easier for you to do. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, make sure to let me know down in the comments. I cannot wait for the add more markers now that we have all the markers in the game. But I will see y'all next time. Goodbye!